Hey, what's up, Scorpio? This is Joey. I want to thank all my um, Aloha fam for all your continued love and support. If you are new to the channel, welcome to the channel. If you like what you see, you can go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you want to be a part of the Aloha fam. Today we're going to be seeing what's coming up for Scorpio in the month of July. I'm going to pick some cards from this deck. I'm going to get some clarifiers and then I'll pull some from the Quantum Oracle deck. And then we'll get some snapshots of what's going on with some uh, Polaroids. And then I'll get you some advice from the Notebook Oracle, okay? So let's go ahead and see what's going on for you guys. What's coming up for Scorpio in July? What do we have coming up for Scorpio in July? Let's see what we have for you guys. What is coming up for Scorpio in July? What is coming up for Scorpio in July? First card out we got is King of Coins. All right. Okay, we got nine of coins. Four of Cups, Three of Wands, all right, and Death. Underneath the deck we have Two of Swords, okay? So let's get some clarifiers for these five cards. All right. Hmm. All right. Ooh. Looks like somebody's counterpart is showing up here. Okay. So let's see what we got. Bottom of this deck, we have uh, what is this chariot? Yeah, it looks like somebody's coming towards you. Somebody's come. Somebody's, you know, got their eyes set on you as a, a goal, and is trying to make it happen. Okay, we have King of Coins clarified by Ten of uh, Ten of Pentacles, Nine of Coins clarified by Queen of Pentacles, Four of Cups clarified by the Hero Font, um, Three of Wands clarified by King of Pentacles, and the Death clarified by. Ace of Swords, Two of Pentacles, and Seven of Wands. Underneath the deck, seven is, uh, Two of Swords, and the Chariot. So somebody's finally, I feel like somebody's finally making a decision to take action when it comes to you. Somebody, this is somebody who is um, stable, right? This is Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is someone, this, is, could, this could be someone who has a family already. Or it could be someone who, who's um, who's uh, assessed an amount of wealth. Uh, this could be someone who is a stable person, right? This is someone who's stable, and they want to build something stable with you as well. Like this is someone who doesn't like play around, who play is not gonna come trying to come in and play games, right? This person is is serious about you know their life, you know. And uh, they want they they like stability, right? This is someone who is not into game playing, is not into hopping around from person to person. They like to build stability in, in, in their lives. For some of you guys, it could be you guys coming into you guys could be this king of coins uh, in this reading, and you're stepping into more abundance within yourself, right? This could be more physical abundance. Or it could be spiritual abundance, like you're feeling more confident, you're feeling more stable within yourself, and you're able to hold your head up high, and you're able to be more uh, authentically and uniquely yourself. Okay, um, I do see that. Um, we got okay. We got nine of coins uh, clarified by the Queen of Pentacles here. So this is definitely showing that you are actually in a in a stage to where some of you guys, if you are single, right? Uh, you're actually um, 
secure being single, right? You're actually comfortable being single. Uh, you may be in the stage in your life to where you feel, to where you're taking care of yourself, you're eating right, you're exercising, you're sleeping, you're meditating, anything like that. But you have more confidence, you have more self-confidence, you um, see the value in yourself, right? You love yourself more um, and you, you know, you value yourself more. You're not just gonna, you're not just gonna go and step out with any old person, right? You're not doing that. You, you are more so, more so waiting on your counterpart. You are showing up here as a queen of pentacles here. Um, like I said, as someone who's stable, who likes uh, luxury or finer things, who likes a stable lifestyle, you know, like that. Nothing wrong with that. And you're not going to settle for anything less than that, okay? Uh, it looks like in the past you've been, uh, people have been approaching you and you've just been, you may have been uh, turning away from them, like shooing them away, like, uh, uh, no, I don't want you. Leave, leave, leave. Like, you're not. You're not the one for me. I know that you're not the one for me. Like, I see that some of you guys have been uh, holding out for that one, right? And it looks like this person is finally on their way to you because you've been waiting for your ships to come in. And one of the ships is this king of pentacles, this king of coins that shows up right here, right? It's finally coming in, right? This situation is the way it, it's, I'm feeling that the waiting is over with, right? The waiting is over with and uh, clarity is coming to the situation. Communication is coming in to the situation, right? Uh, things are balancing out more so between you two. Uh, you guys could have, maybe this is someone that you don't even know and that they don't know you, but they're coming in. Or it could be someone that you do know, you know, that is coming in, right? Uh, my thing for you is to not, if you are interested, to not uh, come off as defensive, you know, to this person. It could be, and it could be that you could have been kind of defensive in the past when it comes to other people like that. But I see, like, with this person, maybe your defenses are going to be coming down, you know, and they're going to be letting this person in, you know, because you see that they are um, uh, on your level, somebody that can meet you at your, at your same level, and more so like your counterpart, you know. Let's see what else we got in the, from the quantum oracle here. Okay, stuck energy. Some of you guys may have been dealing with stuck energy, like you've not been able to to get your uh, relationship or love life moving. You know, uh, looks like in the past things just weren't lining up for some of you guys. Okay, we got some fallers. Let's see what we got. Okay, so we got the family card up here. So the family card uh, may mean that you guys are either focusing on your family more during this time, or this person wants to, this person who's gonna appear into your life with this offer for you, it's gonna be someone who you can poss possibly build a, a family with, okay? This is gonna be someone who's fun, right? Who's fun to be around, who um, you guys could go on like family picnics together, family outings together, uh, just have fun together. This is someone who's gonna be a good provider. And if you guys do uh, get together and it goes uh, a long way, it's gonna be someone who's gonna be uh, a stable, a stable addition, uh, a positive addition to your life as well. This is something that you guys are being guided to each other, right? Because you guys are definitely on the same level. You guys are like mirroring each other. You guys are on the same same wavelength as each other. So therefore, you guys are being attracted to each other. You guys are, you know, because you guys are like kind of like one and the same. You know, you guys want the same things in life. You guys want both want something stable. You don't want something like out there and just be all over the place, you know, right? You might be you might be at that point in your life to where you want to build something solid. You want a solid foundation to build for yourself in the future, right? Some of you guys are some of you guys are wanting to start a family, you know? Uh yeah, your life is going to be transforming, right? 
your life is going to be healing from the way that it was in the past. Like things are going to be changing. Uh, I feel for some of you guys, things are going to be changing drastically from the way that things were, right? You might have been used to being alone by being uh, solo, by being uh, the lone wolf type of character and being not needing anybody else into uh, changing into being like the family person or, you know, that one that's with that person. You know, you open your heart up to another person and then you and you guys, you and that person building a life together, okay? Uh, what else we got here for you guys, Scorpio? Unexpected money. For so, for some of you guys, you'll be receiving unexpected money, for um, literally, right? But for some of you guys, it's gonna be that uh, relationship that's unexpectedly is gonna happen into your life. And just so in this instance, it could be the relationship with someone who has money, you know, or who is. Uh, Financially stable, okay? Okay, we got a proposal coming in. Someone could be watching you from afar, trying to find out more about you. Uh, could be if they know your social media stuff, they could be spying on you online or asking people about you, you know, trying to gather information, trying to make sure that you are the right person or you're the right, you would be. A right the right type of prospect for them right um, I see you've been you've been in a period of self-reflection to where you've been working on yourself I see that you've been taking time out to devote uh, to yourself and to heal yourself and also to uh, to take care of yourself you know did I say that already I don't know but yeah, a proposal. This is a proposal that is coming in for that person coming into the the picture. What else we got for you guys? Okay. Power. I see you standing in your power and dreaming big, right? I see you guys not. Uh, I see you guys raising your standards. That's what I feel. I feel that you guys, being that now you feel more secure, you feel more stable within yourself, and you've uh, you've gained more clarity about yourself, you've gained more confidence in yourself as well, you're going to be raising the stakes, raising the bar when it comes to uh, who you want to allow into your life, okay? For some of you guys, this is going to be someone who works at your job, okay? So it might be a coworker. Or someone that you meet through your job or that you meet them through their job. Some of you guys. What else we got? And then I'll give you guys some advice. Intuition. Yeah. Some of you guys can feel this transformation coming. You got transformation twice. Look. We got transformation twice. So your situation is definitely changing. Some of you guys already know. You already can feel it. You've you've already felt like you already feel a shift in um, in your environment, in the atmosphere. You feel this shift, and you know that something is changing within your life. You know that things are not the same as they used to be. You know you could feel it. You know, for some of you guys, you might have past regrets for missed opportunities in the past. You know, and it's like you're letting that stuff go and you're knowing that some of you guys are, are knowing or understanding that things happen for a reason. Uh, you didn't get together with certain people for a reason or you didn't get a certain job for a reason or you didn't get a certain apartment for a reason. I don't know why I said that, but yeah, you know, you are, you know, you know, uh, certain, certain things happen for a reason. So let's get some advice. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, competition. Life is not a competition. Everyone learns and experiences things on their own time based on their own life path. Don't compare yourself to others and allow yourself to experience things on your own time if it is meant. So yeah, these regrets have to do with uh, competition as well. It could be like some of you guys may be thinking, 
oh man, if I would have done X, Y, Z, I could have already had um, a husband or a wife. I could have already had a family. I could have, or if I would have just taken this course in school, I could have done this job or that job. It's like having regrets because maybe you didn't uh, obtain the things that maybe other people are obtaining around you at the same time that they ob obtain them. For somebody, it's going to be someone who is um, uh, older, right? And you may feel that maybe uh, you should have, uh, life should have worked out in a way that you should have done X, Y, Z when you were at this age. And then you should have done this at, by this age, right? It's like setting deadlines for yourself. And it's like with life, there's no deadlines. You know what I'm saying? It's like something might happen for somebody at the age of 20, but it might happen for you at the age of 40, you know? But it, the only thing that matters is as long as it happens for you, you know what I'm saying? You get to experience that experience. You, you can't um, compare yourself to another person's life because they achieve and they uh, experience things on their own timeline and you experience things on your own timeline because there, there may be a plenty of things that you've experienced that they have not experienced yet, you know? So just keep that in mind as well. But you live your life based on your own timeline and not someone else's, not when somebody else achieved this or achieved that. Like they had their house by the time they were 25. It doesn't, it's okay if you don't get yours until you're 60. I mean, it's okay. I mean, it's not a competition. You, your life is your life. Their life path is their life path, you know? Next one, it says time for action. Living in your head all the time, there's nothing to help bring your dreams to life. At some point, you're going to have to be willing to get out there and try. You have to incorporate some action into your dreams as well. So some of you guys are wanting to, you know, to have this relationship or to marry somebody, to build a family with them in X, Y, Z. That's why I said before, you have to make sure that you're not being defensive and that you are letting your walls down, you're letting the right people in because uh, someone who you can't have those things with is gonna be showing up into your life. That's the energy uh, based on the current energy, okay? Walk away. Don't be afraid to walk away from things that either don't work, are no longer working, or have ended. Nothing is meant to last forever. When the movie credits are rolling, it's time to leave the theater start another movie so it is time for you to leave the past behind right whatever regrets you have or disappointments you have about the past those are in the past now today it is time for you to that's a movie like this this is saying that's a movie that's already ended and the credits have been rolling right so now it's time for you to to start a new movie to to uh you know to get your to do Man, what am I trying to say? To to have your casting calls for finding new actors for characters in your in your movie that you're you're gonna shoot. You know what I'm saying? That you're gonna live out. You know what I'm saying? This is like okay, I'm gonna this person's gonna play my uh, other half. This this one's gonna play my best friend. This one's gonna play da 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 da. You know, it's like it's a new movie. You need to cast for a new movie and start living out that new movie, that new phase of your life, right? The old is gone and the past is gone. And now it's time for you to focus on the now and uh, create a new life and existence for yourself if you want to, okay? On the bottom of the deck, something good. So something good is getting ready to happen for you if you allow it to. Okay, this says, would you believe if I told you something good was about to happen to you? It's up to you if you're open to this good happening. Either open your heart and mind to this new occurrence, whether big or small, or close yourself off to the new possibilities. Comes right on back down to me uh, with this uh, being defensive and shutting people out. Something good is on its way to you, but it is, uh, it is up to you. It is in your hands, you know, what you do with it. Because we all have free will at the end of the day, you know? Just keep that in mind. So, that's what I have for you guys in the month of July, okay? I'll try to give you guys a mid-month uh, checkup as well. Uh, keep in mind, you guys, if this does not resonate with you, you can check the uh, signs in your other houses, okay? And if you guys are not subscribed, if you want to be subscribed, you'll be a part of the fam, go ahead and hit uh, subscribe, okay? All right, you guys. Take care. Ciao.